Hi, I'm Kev from New Perspectives. Welcome back to another video. Have you ever battled with a limiting belief? Well, in this video, we'll learn how limiting beliefs can not only be a waste of our time, but can also slow down our progress towards achieving our goals or even stop us from achieving our goals altogether. We'll also learn a simple strategy to help you isolate and resolve a limiting belief should it show up for you. Events in our life are defined by the meaning that we give to them. We all run into challenges as the years go by. Some of these challenges can be intensely difficult. During these difficult times, we do a lot of thinking and processing about what just happened to us. Our brain tries to make sense of the situation. It tries to figure out what the event means to us and we attach a belief to that event. Once a belief is created, we believe with absolute certainty that our belief is the truth. But the trouble is, the brain sometimes gets things wrong. If we're not mindful and we let our emotions run wild, then that belief we create can be a limiting belief. For example, let's say John suddenly loses his job. He's upset and starts thinking, life just never works out for me. In fact, he's so upset about this event that he focuses on this thinking over and over again. As time passes, he inadvertently creates a limiting belief and habitually thinks, life just never works out for me. How do you think John will show up in his next role anytime something goes wrong? Well, he'll likely focus on his limiting belief and process the reoccurring thought that life never works out for him. It will probably impact his mood and his ability to resolve whatever just went wrong as his mind will be focusing on his limiting thought. This of course is just a basic example of a limiting belief, but some can be quite complex. In my work, I come across them regularly. It's quite surprising how often they show up subtly in conversations with clients. They appear in the words that they use. I sometimes hear, I'm a negative thinker. I'll never understand this. I can't do it. I'm just not an organized person, just the way it is. I'm always late. I'm a worrier. It is what it is. The words we think and say to ourselves have incredible power. These beliefs affect our attitude because we believe them to be the truth. As Henry Ford once said, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. Some beliefs are helpful, of course, and can support, guide, and give us strength. Limiting beliefs have a strong chance of becoming our reality, just like with John, because if we think the same negative thought repeatedly, this can cause us to miss opportunities in life and work, because our limiting belief influences our attitude and the decisions we make in any given situation. Realizing that no one is forcing us to hold on to these limiting beliefs is the first step to help release them. Remembering that we all have choice in what we think, say and do in life is key, especially choice about what we believe or don't believe. Letting go of limiting beliefs is life changing. Is there a reoccurring thought that is limiting your potential? If there is, try the following. When the limiting thought shows up, invert what you're thinking or saying to yourself. For example, instead of thinking, I'll never forgive him or I'll never forgive her, invert the thought and say, life is too short to hold on to this. Instead of, I'll never get through this, invert and say, this too shall pass. Instead of, why do things like this always happen to me? Invert and say, everything happens for a reason. Instead of, I can't do it, invert it and say, I can't do it yet. Here are some additional inverted thoughts that you may find helpful. What could be great about this situation? Could this be an opportunity for me? This is my next challenge. I can always learn. I always have choice in what I think, say, and do. Inverting helps start the process to replace the limiting belief habit. You just need to keep practicing inverting your limiting belief. Look out for when the negative thought pops into your mind, then immediately invert it with a positive thought, and better yet, say the inverted empowering thought aloud. Do this every time it shows up. Empowering thoughts change people's lives. They show up differently, they make different decisions, and they take different actions. Limiting beliefs are a waste of time. Trust me, I've wasted a lot of time with them in the past. If you'd like help to resolve limiting beliefs, create more focus with your time, make clearer, more informed decisions in your life and work, or create an inspiring vision for your future with clear action steps, contact me using the link in the video notes below to learn about my Simplify coaching program. Thank you for watching. If you found it helpful, please like, comment and share and I'll see you on the next video.